Well, hello, good morning, and welcome to here today, where tomorrow. Today is a travel day. As you can tell, the rig's here behind us. We've been on the road for about two hours now, and somebody decided it was time to poopy. Katie? No, it was Madison. Madison decided it was time. So we pulled over here at this rest stop real quick, give a little leg stretch, give a little booty wipe, and then we are gonna get back on the road. Um, we are heading to Mannheim, Pennsylvania today um, to a thousand trails. We will say that uh, we just left the Jellystone Yogi at Natural Bridge in Virginia and uh, probably our favorite campsite so far. Um, the amenities were great, the sites were good. It just, what a, what a great time we had the last couple of days. Um, but we're looking forward to uh, Pennsylvania, Hershey. We're going to be just outside Hershey. So we're talking about doing some of the Hershey stuff, whether that's going to the theme park or just the chocolate center or, or whatnot. But we do have some stuff planned for the next couple of days. We will be spending a week here at a thousand trails in uh, Dutch country, Pennsylvania, Mannheim, Pennsylvania. Um, we're interested to see what the Thousand Trails is all about. I know a lot of people uh, swear by Thousand Trails, so we're using our complimentary Thousand Trails membership right now, and uh, we'll see if it's worth it. We made it to Pennsylvania. We made it to Pennsylvania. We made it to Pennsylvania. That's right. It was a long travel day, but we are finally here, set up at our first Thousand Trails. I'll tell you, we were a little nervous about this experience, mainly because it's first come, first serve sites, and so we made it a priority to get here pretty much right at check-in time. I mean, yeah. check-ins at noon, we're here at 12.05. Hashtag just McNeil things. Yeah, uh, I mean, if it were up to us, we would have been an hour beforehand, yeah. but you know how it is. We want to make sure we're following. We want to make sure they're following the rules. So uh, right. we got a great site. There was a, you know, a little challenge getting backed in. I know some of the folks have talked about this resort specifically, having some uh, less than level sites. And so there was a little bit of a challenge, but really we have a big site in comparison to a lot of them. Yeah. We feel very fortunate, full hookup, 50 amps. So we're here for a full week and we are feeling very blessed, uh, especially because we have service here too. Yep, so we are here at the PA Dutch Country Thousand Trails. There are 2,000 trails kind of in the area. There's Hershey and the PA Dutch Country. Uh, we are at the PA Dutch, Dutch Country. Um, and what did we do on the way here? We bought tickets to go to Hershey Park. That's right. You have no idea what's going on, but we... Hershey Park. Hershey Park. Hershey you have no Park. idea what Hershey Park is, but nope. we're going to go. So We're really looking forward to our time here, and uh, they have a lot of amenities on site, too, so we'll have to show you what we find. Yeah. Anyways, we are backed up to the woods. Looks like there's a little trail we'll, maybe we'll hike through in a little bit. Um, what's interesting about this site yeah, is there's this group of trees right here, and there are so many exposed roots that you can't, that, that there's no way that that could be another site. So our campsite site is huge. But as you see, like all these roots right here, you can't, you can't park a rig there. So this is, that's our campsite. Cause that's our picnic table there. We got our fire ring. We got our barbecue. We got some toe beans. We got Madison trying to escape. We got a butterfly flying around. Tiny, tiny stick. You got some tiny sticks? Cool. What is it? Well, good morning. Um, not the best way to wake up, but we currently have no power in the rig. Um, 
So I checked a bunch of the fuses, I checked all the breakers inside, everything's A-OK. -okay. So I come out here, breaker's on, uh, but I have no lights on my um, 50 amp cable and I have no lights on my surge protector. So we have no power. So we're going to go on an adventure. Um, it is technically outside of business hours right now, but they have a radio for reaching somebody that's on call up at the ranger station. So we're going to go up to the ranger station and see if we can get somebody to come down here and turn our power back on because it's already getting hot and it's 8.15 in the morning. Shall we? As we were about to walk up to the ranger station, which is a little bit of a walk, one of the neighbors pulled in and said, hey, I got the scoop. Apparently this entire side is out. So I guess the power company's been called uh, and they're addressing it. Um, so I don't know, it depends on how long that takes. Maybe we will have to bust out the, it's funny, we were literally just talking yesterday about how I don't think we need the generator because we carry around a generator. So we were literally just talking about how I don't need the generator anymore. And depending on how long this takes, we may, we may have to plug into the generator. So I don't know, we'll see, but we're just gonna walk around the park on a little adventure. When I was talking to the neighbor, he was saying that he noticed, he, he, he knew the power was out the moment he stepped outside this morning and heard how quiet it was, which is an indication of the fact that everyone's ACs are off. And I mean, it's late July and it's like 90 billion degrees outside. So it's kind of funny that that was his indication that the power was off because nobody was running their ACs. <laughs> it's funny. So this here is the trading post and the food court. This is kind of your central area. Once you check in after the ranger station, um, supposedly they have like a cafe and stuff in here too. Uh, pretty cool. Then across the way here, you have a nice mini golf course. It looks to be uh, pretty challenging. Here at the back side of the trading post, you have the pool and it's like a walk-in pool so they have that mushroom slash like splash pad thing at the end and then it gets deeper and deeper and deeper up to four feet six inches deep so just enough so my wife won't drown yeah and the playground's on the other side come on this is the main entrance in and across the way you have a basketball court and then just next to the pool and trading post here we have a playground like a little shaded sitting area for parents. All right, kiddo, lose your mind. Okay, let's go down this side. That's a great idea. That's a great idea, okay, come on. I'll do a playground. I'll do a playground, Dada. Sit down. Now remember, you gotta pick your feet up. Okay, pick your feet up. Ready? Ready, okay. Go, 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 go. Pick your feet up, pick your feet up, pick your feet up. Pick your feet up. Whoa, look at your hair. It's so pretty. Yeah, well, <laughs> I mean, something like that is static. -y. Good job, Madison. All right, well, we just went on our little adventure. We just got back to the rig and AC's are on. So they fixed it. That's, that's all you gotta do. Just go for a little hike. And when you come back, all your problems will be fixed. So they do a Christmas in July themed weekend here, um, this weekend and next weekend. And last night was the decorate your campsite with your Christmas decorations. Unfortunately, we don't have any Christmas decorations, so we weren't able to uh, contribute. We did see a couple of other trailers that had some decorations. So they are doing a bunch of Christmas events today at what they call the barn, which is up near the trading post where we were earlier. Unfortunately, we're gonna be doing some errands kind of in the middle there where they're doing like Christmas music and stuff like that. But tonight they're gonna have a DJ with, I think, some Christmas tunes. So we're thinking about heading out there. The 
we're taking this Christmas in July thing serious. It's funny, huh? This is funny. Yeah, Christmas in July. Sleigh bells ringing, diamonds blinging, carols singing, favorite season. Sleigh bells ringing, diamonds blinging, carols singing, favorite season. So that was the barn with uh, DJ Jay-Z or something. Some time later. All right, so it's currently nine o'clock and I am sitting outside of our campsite here. Supposedly at nine o'clock they were doing a golf cart parade. There you go. First of all, that was more than I anticipated. Secondly, that lady screamed Merry Christmas and threw a mystery dum-dum at me. And it scared me really bad. <laughs> she screamed really loud, which like didn't quite scare me. It was the like whoosh of the dum-dum right by my... <laughs> almost got taken out by a dum-dum. A dum-dum taken out by a dum-dum. All right, well. I think uh, that about does it for uh, tonight's activities. So um, we might be going to Hershey Park tomorrow. We may not. It just depends on how we're feeling. Um, but we're definitely going to have some fun whatever we do. So Merry Christmas, you filthy animals. Merry Christmas indeed. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please leave a like or comment, and don't forget to subscribe. It really does help the channel out. And tune in next episode as we go to the ever-famous, ever-loving, ever-sweet Hershey Park. <laughs>